Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to day 24 of 31 days of horrible crafts and even scarier stories. Today will be a short one as I tell you about a couple of things that happened to me just two nights ago. First of all, for a little bit of backstory, you should know that I am mostly deaf in my right ear and partially deaf in my left ear. Which is simply to say that's one of the main reasons this experience was very weird to me. So, on Tuesday evening, which will have been two nights ago when you're watching this, I had accidentally taken a nap from 7.30 p.m. to 11.30 p.m. Which, of course, for my mind, meant I was going to be awake for a very long time afterwards. At around 6.30 a.m., my brain finally decided it was time to go to sleep again. So, I turned on my ceiling fan, laid down, and attempted to go to sleep. At this point, I was laying on my right side, thus my right ear was pressed into my pillow. I was laying there for roughly three to five minutes, and I heard a very loud yell in my right ear. Thinking it was just my brain starting to sleep, I ignored it and tried again to fall asleep. About a minute later, I heard the yell again. Again, it was only in that right ear, which is mostly deaf. Of course, at this point, I believed there to be something in my ear, like a spider or a roach, but there wasn't. You know, that's just my brain doing its funny little uh, thoughts every once in a while. After itching at my ear for a good five minutes, I had decided it was all in my head and rolled back over onto my side to try to sleep. Less than two minutes later, I felt something jump onto my bed behind me. Now normally that would not be a concern since we have four cats in the house. However, before attempting to go to sleep for the second time, I had checked my room over thoroughly to make sure there were no cats in it since I would be closing my bedroom door to keep out the sounds of my roommates waking and getting ready for work. And even after waking up at 10.30 a.m., I can absolutely confirm that there were no cats in my bedroom. I would love to say that all of this was just my imagination, but I've felt the same thing multiple times over the years, including some scratching sounds coming from under my bed, even though there are zero cats present at the time. Anyway, guys, that's about all from me today. As I said, this was a very short one. Links to the playlist for all of the videos are in the um, description box below. There you can also find a link to my Instagram where you can see today's picture for the completed project. Thank you all so very much for watching and take care.